Bugs are a blight on humanity. Oh, you may look at a tiny ant now and shrug your shoulders, but you're ignoring what lies in their dark hearts. In Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon, you finally get to see how these creepy crawlies would behave if they are on equal footing with you. It's not pretty. Gargantuan spiders and ants flood the screen, you unleash endless rounds of bullets and rockets to cut their forces down to size. It's mindless, simple fun that is infinitely better in cooperative play than going through alone. There are certainly small issues chomping at your heels, but there isn't enough time to dwell on the little things when another masticating monster is trying to end your life. Insect Armageddon is an unabashedly simple experience that focuses on pure fun and delivers in spades. Before you worry about killing bugs, you need to think about what you're going to do about those pesky buildings all around you. Insect Armageddon places you in realistic looking cities that let you run around and blast things until your heart's content. There isn't level design in the traditional sense. Instead, you're just plopped down in a metropolis and can go nuts. That means you can make a beeline towards the insect invasion if you want, or just destroy buildings for a while. There's slight tactical reasons to blow up buildings, but it's really just fun to make things go boom. Once you focus on killing, you need to only point your gun and fire. You have tons of guns to play around with, from sniper rifles to missile launchers. And figuring out the best tool for the job is a lot of fun. There are four unique classes as well, each with their own strengths and loadouts. Jet is the most agile member, able to soar above the earth with his handy jetpack. Battle is a hulking human with a handy shield when he wades into danger. Tactical can lay down turrets in a pinch, and Trooper is, well, a trooper. He's the jack of all trades, and the only guy who can wield every weapon type. In addition to gunning down monstrous insects, there are flying saucers and robots as well. The UFOs come in two varieties, nimble fighters and giant motherships. You need to destroy the motherships as quickly as possible because they drop more insects on top of your hapless forces. The robots, called Hectors, also come in two varieties. The smaller of the two is dozens of feet tall and will charge at you if you're caught napping. The bigger Hector is hundreds of feet tall and can decimate your entire party with one nasty foot stomp. Unfortunately, the largest enemies are bullet sponges, requiring tons of bullets to bring down. They can get tedious firing in the air for 10 minutes to make them explode. Repetitiveness is an issue throughout the game. There isn't much to do aside from shooting waves of enemies, and the sense of sameness takes away the thrill you initially felt. Also, every level looks pretty much the same. They all take place in basic cities, so you don't have any visual diversity to look forward to. These issues are especially egregious in single player. The repetitiveness makes it a drag when you're going through alone, so you really should team up with a few friends. When you have a couple buddies by your side, you can crack jokes and plan attacks, which makes the whole experience much more exciting. If you do get sucked in, there's a lot of content to play around with. You have to play through the 5 hour campaign in all 3 difficulty settings to earn the best guns, and repeat the process with each of your class types. There's also a campaign remix which changes the enemy types you face in the standard levels, as well as a mode where you gun down waves of enemies. Take one look at Insect Armageddon and you can tell this is a budget price game. The graphical fidelity is nowhere near what you'd find in other games, and the weak sound effects barely communicate the awesome chaos on screen. But if you dig deeper, there's a lot to love. Vector down. Insect Armageddon focuses on delivering huge scale and a lot of fun, and it lives up to those goals admirably. Gunning down insects and robots is a blast, as is laying waste to the many buildings that surround you. There's certainly issues such as the lack of variety and flying alone is tiresome, but it manages to overcome these problems and keep on ticking. Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon is another good entry in this ridiculous franchise, and there's lots of enjoyable cooperative content for the reasonable $40 price tag.